I'm Jorge Alcina. Uh, this is Florida International University. I'm uh, a Piltail leader for the biology department here at Florida International University. Uh, okay, now Jose. Hello, I'm Jose Chang. I am a graduate, recently graduated uh, FIU alumnus. And I'm a, I've been a peer leader since fall 2010. Thank you, and David? Uh, I'm David Diaz. I'm a biology, current biology major. I am one of the leaders for Biology 2 in the PLTO, and this is FIU. Asking you one question where you have to, you know, you're working with your neighbor, but it's just the whole class partaking in it, and the NDLAs just come in, they tell you two, three things, and then they walk away to go help another student. There's no real communication. Yeah, there's no really, there's nothing going on. There's yeah. no. There's no discussion, no aid, and even and your peer next to you is just as clueless as you are. Yeah. You know, whereas when we, you know in PLT, we all sit together. Now some of the students together they might be a little bit clueless sometimes, but it's a whole discussion of everybody. So you guys know the difference. You know what they're missing because we we've, we've all like experienced we've been through it first but, but so is there is there some uh, okay the space pretend that that space thing isn't real. Do you think that there's a um, What's the word? You think it's like a panacea where the professor in chemistry says, well, yeah, we have some kind of peer facilitated thing already, so we don't need something more. Yeah, I believe it's that. Like that. And it also opinion. is, at least for organic chemistry, because I haven't worked with Gen Chem, I've worked with organic chemistry. You know, each teacher is its own person. Like, I taught for one teacher, and I've had kids who would come from the other teacher and, like, oh, can I sit in your tutoring session? I'm like, I teach for her. Like, I teach her chemistry, I teach in her order, like, however she's teaching her organic chemistry. I can't, you know, really assist you because you're doing another topic. So I feel like in chemistry, it's kind of like that, too. While here, you know, biology, they all use the same book, you know, pretty much either going through the same steps and the same, you know. Yeah. So it's a little easier to... I don't think the administration together. understands because they care about the numbers, right? They, they care about what's working and what's not working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think they've seen, because there's a one, they're the ones I feel like who call the shots on who gets the space, and who gets priority, quote unquote. They haven't been presented what we're talking about, the research that they've been conducting all these years. They haven't, I feel, seen the numbers yeah. that will give them the reason to, hey, but we need to allocate if more. You, the, the thing is, my experience with space is that if you if you really could know everything, I mean, if, I mean, it's hard in a place this big. But let's say you know everything, you'll find that there are empty rooms of course. that aren't being used. And if you could schedule those, you'd solve that problem. <laughs> so, I took a course called Biology Education Seminar, led by Thomas Pitzer here at FIU and Jose Alberti. And in that course, we, amongst you know the pedagogy and the learning theory that we discussed. We also discussed the problem at FIU with, with PLTL not being, you know, adopted widely. adopted widely. And one of the things that we really focused on was attention and, 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 and marketing. And, and this has been discussed over and over again, right? How to communicate the importance of, or the effectiveness of PLTL to others. Yeah. I, I just personally, Professors and administrators. I don't see how any how the other programs here aren't adopting it. I mean, if you look at all the better, here's here's something I wanted to say. I think a, the problem with chemistry department too is that they try to offer you quantity instead of quality. Because besides the LA program, they also have certain uh, programs which is, and I've been a part of it. Some students just sit there as they hand the students as they come in a worksheet. They work on it. They try to figure it out, sign out, and they get extra credit points for that. But the students aren't learning anything. Is that the chem? At the chem. At, now buddy, I first chem started. Buddy or yeah, chem buddy. I first started chem pal. I chem first pal. started in that program, and when I came to PLTL, it was like my world changed. I was like, just yes. the facilitation of learning was just so much, was so much easier, so much better. It's, and then everything that it teaches you, right? It teaches you responsibility. Was refreshing to hear. Responsibility. Yeah. You need to, you, you know, the, the five minute mark is there for a reason. You need to be on time. This is something you signed up for. You need to be accountable. If you want to get the credit, if you want all the benefits that come from PLTO, you need to be on time. You need to be prepared, right? It teaches you study tips, study tactics, uh, ways to learn. Just, 
And then, but even more than that, it's like just community. I met him through yeah. PLTO. I've met Jose, and then we've taken other classes, and it's already like a camaraderie. Like, okay, oh, yeah. we can yeah. study together. We've even done almost PLTO like sessions outside of PLTO because you know we know each other. We've taken classes together. So let me go ahead and oh, and um <laughs> and do that same group. Like even. We didn't make worksheets, but we would go together, read the book together, yeah, things yeah. like that. It really is a community. It, it really, in all honesty, it, it becomes a family here. And you it's set your pattern yeah. once you yeah. know that, yeah. that effectiveness. Yeah. I think then we do yeah. it a bit for French. But they need to experience it. Right? Yeah. For French? Yeah, we took French together. And like, yeah. We met up a few times to study for that. Yeah. Like It's not just science. It could yeah. be any class you use it for. The same. There's, there's honestly, for David, there might not be a reason for him to have come because he's got so many things. And I, me and Jose, we had just graduated, but we're back. You know, because we love being a part of this program. Yeah. It's it's honestly a family here. It's just and we know it works. It was very quick because there were different universities, different colleges were presenting there. So it was a very quick mention of PLTL. But I, you know, I was there and I did interact. I did sort of mingle with with some of them, but they, you know, it was very brief. It was very introductory. So at that board of governors meeting for the uh, state of Florida, for the perhaps? state of Florida, yeah. And at the Board of Trustees meeting, I, I really discussed, I went in, in, in depth into the actual format of, of the peer-led team learning program and the benefits of it, which are supported by numbers, and, and they, were, they were interested in knowing more about it. But, you know, the follow-up part was, I guess, the impasse. Biochemistry is different. All these upper division, ecology, they're all different. Yes. So, you know, it's not just biology, it's, it's, there's other classes too. Mm -hmm. like you mean they like, conduct the workshops <clears throat> differently? Yeah, they conduct the workshops differently. You're learning different. And they should, right. They so I don't see like what's the big issue if it goes to chemistry. Like it's, it's just, yeah, it's a no. style of learning, not yeah. biology learning. And it goes back to the, to the RA story. I mean, to, to what happened with that, the organic professor. I mean, you're sort of kind of doing your students a disservice by not, you know, giving them the best chances. I know, I mean, I, it's not like they're all, all their students are failing, you know. But do, how many more are passing, would be passing, you know, with yeah. better grades? How many more would right. genuinely enjoy the subject matter more? You know, maybe some are on the borderline, you know, and then with the adoption of PLTL, right, and some of these programs, maybe they just, they found a renewed sense of, wow, I never so, thought of it like that. I love this subject. So one of the things that you may not have heard professors say before, but I think Jim and I really believe in it, like I say he does too. You know, professors tend to be egotistical. Oh yeah. They're like, you know, I gave the best lecture, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I, I, I have, my class is so wonderful and I'm telling them everything they need to know and that's enough. You know, of course when the grades come back and they're it failing, sure. it doesn't seem to, you know, and pan then, out. And then, and then another thing, another issue, another, you know, huge benefit of PLTO is, you know, teacher, professor, obviously is one person, they can't reach 500 students, right. you know, so when you break it down and you have them in little groups, not only can they reach out to, you know, students within the class, they can reach out to someone who's taken the class, and, you know, maybe, you know, someone like me, I also teach in the labs here, I do know some of the higher up professors, they can, through me, I can introduce them to the professor, like, hey, this student in particular needs yeah. help, like, it's not just about you know. see, talking to you all, and you know, in a way we're just sort of preaching to the choir to each other. We all understand these things. But getting these kinds of stories, either on video or, you know, on, on little little snippets of text, I, I think that's important because those testimonies yeah, are real. Course. It's not like, what do you guys have to gain by faking this? You're not faking right. this, right? So At the end of the day, what matters is the education of the student, you know? Yeah. Like, put all egos aside, what matters is that your students are learning. And whatever it is that you have to adopt, whatever it is that you need to do for them to facilitate their learning, to make it more enjoyable, make it a better experience for all. It's, but at the I, same it's time, just at the same time, I also agree that you know, as students, they want to know that if they're getting into a program, which number one, if we implement this workbook idea that they're paying for, they want, you know, they they need more than just you know, hey, I enjoyed this experience. I think that they also need to see the numbers. They need to yes. see the statistics. Yes. They need to see this is going, this you is almost students. guaranteed. You mean the yeah. students? Yeah. The students, yeah. Students. They this need is to know almost this guaranteed to, to increase my, my grade, my resulting letter grade by one 
by one letter. But those, da those data already exist. You know, there's 10, 20 years yeah. of data. So it's a matter of just like making a nice graph yeah. and saying here it yeah. works. And we give them a presentation on PLTL, right? The history of PLTL, um, the policies that we have in place. How long is the presentation? About 15 minutes. 10, 10, 15 minutes. Just could you cut it class. down to two minutes? Or could you give a presentation? These are the new students. students. Here's what this I is think. what we do well, every semester to kind of to let the students know in the class them. that we offer this. Yeah. This is something that you can well, sign up for. These are the important things to look for. Oh, and that's right. You're that it works. selling it. You're yeah. selling it. And the reason the reason it's a little longer is because we also explain like the rules. Yeah, the policy. If you were just to sell it, then yeah, you could get it down to two minutes. The reason I'm saying that is, are your physics professors ever late for class? Are your chemistry <laughs> professors ever late for class? <laughs> That's true. Um, also, uh, another thing you could you sneak could just, in and you we could do a go lot of, at the beginning of the hour and say, propaganda. "Hey guys!" A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of the teachers, a lot of the teachers like it so much that they give them the they give PLTL the first yeah. day almost like, "Hey, come in and." present it we want them yeah. because like you said but the, the statistics are there you have a lot of students who start off for the letter of recommendation and like just being able to put in the resume but you kind of stick in the program because you love it because of how much it helped you and how you're able to help other people and there is that enjoyment from that and even if I were to be in a, in a room right now doing an interview for medical school I would definitely tell them like hey I'm part of PLTO I did this but it helped me organize public speaking, you know, a lot of medicine now is becoming more social, so you need to be able to speak to them. Here in Miami, you have, you know, Cubans, Colombians, Haitians, it's a lot of different, you know, personalities and cultures that in PLTL you see that, and you're able to, you know, learn to just, um, I don't want to say it in Spanish, like, I just said it, like, to mesh with them. And just, you know, you, you learn to, like, not be embarrassed even if you mess up. Just it's a lot of positives that you get from. And I think that's what keeps this program is free. Yeah. And that's what keeps them. And then if word gets around, if the physics is doing, the physics department, the chemistry department, the English department, they're all doing it. Students, you know, who even want to do a master's in English or a Ph.D. in English will be more willing to join this program because it's, like, you know, they see how it benefits them. That's, that would be interesting. I, because I, you say $10 to improve your grade, I think people will put into it. I mean, people yeah, pay hundreds of dollars. Yeah, calculator costs people, bucks, right? people pay hundreds yeah, of dollars for a tutor. You're just paying 10 for I don't know if I'm being it. too cynical here. No, I, I want you to yeah, tell me what I'm Honestly, I mean, anything that requires money, they want some kind of guarantee to that. Yeah, that is true. I don't, I feel like they... So they, do they buy the textbook? Actually, they end up returning they end up fighting wars with that bookstore because they want to return the, that you used textbook. To work in so the that thing. Yeah, I used to work at the bookstore. So I handled the returns, I handled the exchanges, all of that. Many times students, even the workbooks that labs use, they would want to return those because they just they don't they aren't used properly, they don't get what they need to get out of it. You mean before the semester ends? Or after? Well, during during like two weeks after the semester begins. Oh, they're already ready yeah, to already. give it back. And, yeah. Yeah. and, and they want full price. You have to be honest. Like, there's pirating. To a manager. You, know, you are going to see a lot of people pirating, you know, the, these things. Right, right. Proper edition. Yeah. It's just you know an extra, an extra ten bucks you might scare a few Here, away. Here's my here's the thing. Some a lot of the professors what they do is they sort of ins some of them incentivize the PLTL. They're like if, um, for example, biology, general biology one two. Their incentive is um, if you partake in PLTO, if you participate in it, you are not required to take the final exam. Your grade that you earn through PLTO will replace your final exam grade. Even with that, with which in my personal opinion is a very, very sweet Sorry. proposal, very, very decent, very fair, even with that proposal, some of the students don't even partake in PLTO. Have you ever talked to those? But what kind of no, student is that those, that doesn't go for Those them? students actually tend, because, you know, hearing, especially, I taught about one lab and then I taught about two. Speaking to those students, I have not met one that hasn't said I did not regret doing that. They, 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 don't, always, they yeah, don't regret. No, they do regret. They do regret not taking the PLTL. PLTL. 
Oh, and did they ever give you in a reason? hindsight? So it's a in the hindsight, reason. one, yeah. so it's a because personality thing. It's a personality that, thing too, because at first it happens a lot more but is it in like bio the one. Independent types, or is it the I think it's freshman, eighteen-year-old, eighteen-year-old, don't, don't know better, or what? They're used to oh, in high school, I put in a few hours, and you know, I still got A's. You know, they're not used to that. Okay, we're in college now; things aren't the same. So, and, you know, they regret it because they see the worksheets from their friends later and they're like, wow, this is what we cover in class. I didn't understand it, but my friend now does because he sat in for an hour and had this worksheet. Actually, um, yeah, that's I didn't take the PLT, the genetics PLTL. They're, they're not, not, here. They're not <laughs> here. I didn't take the genetics PLTL. I got a C plus in genetics. And I'm, I'm, I'm openly disclosing that because I could have done so much better, and I took it with the genetics professor of FIU, which is Dr. Mills. Her exams, they're short essays, all writing, all writing, no multiple choice, none of that. PLTL, she worked in conjunction with PLTL to design the worksheets for... I'm definitely sure, 100% positive, I could have gotten an A in that class if I had taken PL, PLTL for genetics. Had you had any PLTL before that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That, yeah. Oh. that was the only course that I didn't take PLTL with. So I don't know. There might be other factors that led to that C plus, but no. But it's something. One of the key things is it, it helps organize you because you know when you're especially young students, 18 years old, when they don't have like okay, my test is in three weeks. Right. I won't start reading yet. With PLTL, you have to read and keep up with it every week. Because if you don't, you you know you don't do well in the survey, you know the yeah, grade. So then that grade. harms your final grade, and it's something it keeps you like on a, especially you know when you're 18, you're just coming. I know how it was. You you kind of need that structure, like you need to build up that structure little by little. Now you know taking other courses higher up that I don't need, that there aren't PLTL for. I'm okay because I kind of keep that structure of PLTL. All right, I'm gonna cover the first two chapters, first three chapters go over with my friends, things like that from PLTO that I've met. So it, it does help kind of like, you know, in high school everything's baby to you, at least here in Florida, I don't know in Texas how it is, but everything is baby to you. But then later when you get to college, it's like a complete opposite. It's like you're 100% on your own, so it's kind of like a, you know, a smack in the face. There's no training for There's it. There's no training for yeah. it. While PLTO kind of gives you that training, it's, it's a little, it's structured, but it's less structured than high school because you are in college. You know. They're coming in from high school and from middle school with this traditional, they've been hardwired to think that they will receive the information. It's a one-way direction. The information is going this way. And they get into college and they're still expecting that. And then they see PLTL, they go into PLTL and they're like, they're shocked. It's like ta it's like microwaving a, a glass of hot of water. It's now hot, and now you dip it in ice water. Huh. It's it's shocking. It's what what is this? Why am I why am I talking so much? Why am I discussing ideas? What what is this? Why aren't you getting? Am I learning how to learn? What? So there's a level of education that I think needs to be disseminated. In I guess what what you're talking about, they need to understand that what what the way that they've been taught to learn. Is not is not the most efficient way to learn. So, I think that's the real issue yeah. here. That's the, the elephant in the room. And I think also the other thing is a lot of students come in, and a lot and a lot of students have kind of been trained that it, it's just, everything's like sort of incentive based. You know, what am I going to get out of this? What are you going to give me? You know, we tell you, you we can tell you, you know, you're going to learn better. You're going to learn how to learn, you know, studies, which they'll take as, okay. sure, sure, I know what I'm doing because they've had success all their lives doing what they're doing. That works fine up until you get to college because at that point is where everything changes, you know, it's no longer, the professor's not responsible for you. He's doing his work, he's teaching you, everything else is up to you. You know, it's not like in high school where they spoon feed you everything. Yeah, but I'm... So I'm there's not, that culture shock for them. I'm not, I'm not against incentivizing at all. I think it could be a fantastic tool. I totally agree, but what I'm, but in reference to this, you know, where it's kind of like just a, uh, kind of a, a course to kind of get you up to speed on college stuff. And first workshop is, in a sense, sort of a freebie. Um, you know, regardless of how they did on their readiness survey or you know, and 
how they work and stuff, they do get the four awarded points that are possible. Um, but it serves as giving them an idea of, you know, all the work that they need to be doing. You know, we, oh, I need to be reading, I need to be participating, you know. Where the first session, we're constantly telling them, you know, this is what we expect from you, this is what you have to do, you know. Telling them what to get prepared for. Yeah, biology. First week. Hello, my name is Jose, this is my contact information, this is what PLTL is, this is what we're going to be doing every week. By the way, you guys, aside from the reading that you're required to do, which I'm going to be posting online so that for your convenience, your professor designs these questions. They help us design these questions, so that means that that's his line of thinking, his line of reasoning for the exam creating the creating exam, the exam. so mm -hmm. and then their their eyes light up and suddenly the room is a little hotter because they're thinking more and no, I love after the first test you always through. get after the first test like one of them will come up to you you know they're younger they, they kind of look at you like a older sibling they'll come to you like oh remember that question that we had on PLT I had that one on the yeah. test yeah. basically yeah. or like you know since here we have a lot of multiple choice tests it'll be like we had 10 questions on just the Calvin yeah. cycle and you know, thanks because of PLTL yeah. doing the cycle step by step, you know, I understood what I was looking for in that question. But the students who and then after there that they keep for going. the first workshop, they don't, they didn't receive any of that. So you must have gone to the first workshop to have received that, you know, pep rally that, that we leaders give them. You know, I always every time I do the the teaching them, you know, how it works, I'm like. Okay, imagine your abuelita, you know, your grandma, you know how they love to not finish your medicine. What happens? They become, the bacteria that's in them that they didn't finish your medicine yeah. killing becomes, and then, you know, that like humor jokes, but it makes a connection to them. Like, that's right, grandma never finishes, she always ends up sick and again. They, they want to pay attention. They and then they want to pay attention. They're like, so, it gets them thinking, it, it, I don't know, it's, there's a psychology that's yeah, associated with Yeah, there's a psychology, you know, when, yeah. when they and see... And you develop that as a leader. And another thing that I see that's very important with PLTO is we're almost their age. You know, at most you're five years older, and that's, you know, a big, you know, that's not even that big of a difference. Like an older brother, a professor, you know, there's normally a bigger age gap, so they have a harder time speaking to them. It's easier to relate. Yeah, they can relate to us, you know. You know, sometimes you get to college and you're just sitting there, you're like, oh, only crazy biology professor, old biology professors care about this. And it's like, no, there's people our age who care about this, you know, who are excited by this. So they see that and then they're like, whoa, why is this person excited? They're not an old biology professor. And then they'll ask you like, oh, why are you so interested? And then you tell them like, look how cool this is. And they just keep going in it. It's kind of like- You gotta give them that enthusiasm, right, from you. And then it, it sometimes it's just, you know, it, it just attracts them. It, it gives into them, you know, and, it, it's got to start sometimes. It's got to start also with the leader, you know. Which is why we and I've had focus yeah, a lot we on focus a lot on the leaders. And I when I when I used to teach your sessions, you'd yeah. get the students so, coming to you like, oh, I want to be a leader now. Like after seeing how you were, I want to be that yeah. for someone else. Everybody comes in here for different reasons. When I first decided to come, you know, be part of PLTL, was um there, there was an old coordinator here. Uh, his name was Jason. I think it was Satterfield. Sad Satterfield, right? Mm -hmm. I remember speaking. I believe it was to Ada. And she had explained to me how when he, he's now in medical school, but when he applied, you know, one of the things that he said was, sure, everybody comes in here and they tell you that, sure, I know biology, I know the genetics, and all of that. I was part of PLTO. I worked with people, like, you know, I, I know how this material because I helped teach it. You know, it's a different thing just to say you know it, but then to teach it. It's a different, it's a deeper understanding, and that was something that I wanted, right, a, a deeper understanding. But at the end, you always stay for the same thing. This is a family, you know, this is what you form. Mm -hmm. And not only is PLTL being, you know, in, in different colleges, med schools, you know, a lot of medical schools that I've applied to now, they're implementing PLTL programs. They're really? implementing a, a sort of a peer-led system. Uh, that I believe in Rutgers, they have a system like that where uh, students who've taken the classes already, they help out the first-year students, you know, go through things like that. Central Michigan does that as well, which is a school that well, I'm trying to I actually want to add to that. That's interesting. I didn't know that. But also, I think one of the fundamental things about why PLTL works is the materials, which is what you guys are trying to discuss mm -hmm. and, and develop. The materials are carefully delivered and created so that the process, which is what we're trying to teach them, is is also delivered in a, in a Correct way. Yeah, you don't get you true know, well false questions. questions. Yeah, it's always you know? a very open-ended question. Like, what is the point yeah. of this? And you know, 
And, what so, and then the readiness survey at the beginning of the session, five minutes, only five minutes, five questions. They're multiple choice questions, but they're very well designed, sort of concept check-like questions. Five questions, all right, five minutes are up, let's begin the worksheet. And then there's a and, one hour and, and 15 minutes. And one of the important things of the discussion. quizzes, because that's kind of where they get the grades for the, you know, the teachers use the incentive of, okay, we'll place your final grade. Where can we get something that's like a solid grade? Is those those first five minutes of quizzes Wait, for the writing quizzes. surveys? Are the quizzes different every year? Um, they can be. Yeah. Slight like variations. Slight so yeah, like variations, variations of yeah. the same. Thing. So, yeah. but that's kind of like you know that kind of helps the teacher put like a solid <coughs> note mm -hmm. on the grade. You know, okay, they're actually being yeah, like somewhat tested, evaluated. Or evaluated. But at the same time, it's, again, well, that's what I talked about earlier, it's the structure that gets you to study better, to read ahead. Like for some students, you know, reading ahead is, oh, my class is in an hour, let me take a look. With PLTL, it forces you, hey, let me read, you know, two weeks, a week ahead, and then I'll have time to review, you know, an hour a day before. It's not learning the material, it's let me refresh on what I've learned. So it, it's added responsibility, but it creates a motive yeah. for, for study. Because, you know, everything yeah. needs a motive, but it's not, you know, it helps a lot. 